In today's video, we're gonna look at installing the drivers for the Behringer UM2 onto Windows 10. Now these are the proper drivers, not the ASIO for all driver that Behringer recommends right out of the package, but they actually have drivers that they created specifically for the Behringer UM2. Now the Behringer UM2 is an affordable USB audio interface. It features one XLR in, which also is a TRS in as well, and this is your mic line in, or an instrument in, where you can plug in a guitar, bass guitar, or whatever instrument that has the that type of signal. It also features 48 volt phantom power for your microphone, so you can connect studio grade microphones to this interface without a problem. It's a simple interface. It's only 16 bit. It's not a 24 bit interface, which is really the only sort of negative that I see, but it's still not even that big of a negative if you're just doing podcasting or spoken word type of things. Even if you're doing music, it's still not that bad. When you think of 16 bit, when you listen to a CD, that's 16 bit. A CD is 16 bit. It's not 24, 16. So let's look at installing the Windows 10 drivers for the Euphoria UM2. Okay, so before we install the driver, do not plug in the Behringer UM2 to your system just yet. First, download the driver. I put the link in the description of the video so you can easily download it right from YouTube. Now you either choose your 64-bit driver or the 32-bit one. This system's 64-bit, so I'm going to download that one right now. Once the driver's downloaded, go to the folder that you downloaded it to, extract the zip file, go into this folder, and then into this folder, and double-click on Setup. Choose your language, click OK, and install the driver. It's asking me to plug in the USB. Now it's going to finish installing. And now all we have to do is reboot the system and we're good to go. And once your system's rebooted, you can just go into your hardware setup on whatever system you use, switch the driver to the Behringer USB audio driver, click OK, and now you're good to go. There you have it, the Behringer UM2 installed with the Behringer USB drivers on Windows 10. Now I'm gonna be releasing another video shortly that's sort of a preview of what the Behringer UM2 sounds like, how to set it up for a very simple podcast, and that sort of thing. So you might wanna to subscribe to the channel so you can see that. If not, it's been great talking with you, and I'll chat soon.